everybody. Welcome back to Elite Show. Let's say hello to our friend, John Baptiste. Hello, John hey. Baptiste. Hello, hello. Peace in my soul. What's happening with you? Did you manage to have a peaceful, uh, productive weekend? Like, did you be, just let it all go? What'd you do? I watched the movie, actually, that, that you sent me. Oh! And, what, what was that movie, John? Oh, my goodness. Derek Delgado's movie. In and of um, itself. In and of itself. Man, I don't even know how to describe what the movie is, but go see it. It's just like it tells you about yourself in a way that you don't even realize when you watch it until the end. I loved it. It was amazing. Oh, I'm so glad, John. I'm so glad. Yeah, yeah. we're really proud of it. Uh, Evie and I executive produced that. Frank Oz directed it, and, and Derek is an, an amazing performer, and it's uh, available on Hulu starting Friday. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Come on. Go check it out. I, I love it. I'm going to watch it again. If the link still works that you sent me. I have the slightest <laughs> idea, but I'll, I'll get you my Hulu password if it doesn't. Thank yes, you. I'm so indeed. glad you liked it. So glad you liked it. John, Betsy, John, you got any, you got, you got any music uh, you're inspired to play for us oh, yeah. as we go out? You know who. Happy King Day. Yes, indeed. John Baptiste, everybody. Folks, this week it isn't just the president who's leaving the White House because Melania Trump is also getting ready to make the transition from first lady to unnumbered dame. And this afternoon, she released a farewell address. It has been an honor to represent the American people abroad. I treasure each of my experiences and the inspiring people I have met along the way. As I say farewell to my role as First Lady, it is my sincere hope that every American will do their part to teach our children what it means to be best. Oh, I think your message was clear to the children, particularly the Boogaloo Boys, the Proud Boys, and the Children of the Corn. It was rare to hear from the First Lady, who has been mostly silent since the insurrection at the Capitol earlier this month, but. Turns out she's been busy. In fact, it's reported that while the deadly attack was happening, the First Lady was overseeing a photo shoot of rugs, furniture, and decorative objects in the White House. I'm going to guess rearranging the deck chairs? And apparently the First Lady sees herself as one of the victims of this attack because after days of silence, she released a statement that said, in part, I am disappointed and disheartened with what happened last week. I find it shameful that surrounding these tragic events, there has been salacious gossip unwarranted personal attacks and false misleading accusations on me. Her husband got a mob to attack Congress and she's worried about gossip? That's like the wife of John Wilkes Booth going, yeah, 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 Ford's theater thing, but people really need to stop talking smack about my shawl. Now one thing the first lady did not mention in her address today is what she'll be doing after inauguration day because while her husband has been fighting to stay in the White House, there are reports that privately Melania just wants to go home and cannot wait to get back to New York. So, what are the First Lady's future plans? Over the years, she's appeared on this show numerous times. And tonight, she wanted to come back and make another official announcement. So here with an exclusive message to the nation, one last time, First Lady Melania Trump. Thank you, Stephen. I have spent the last four years serving in the White House, but all good things must come to an end. Also, this and the tragic events of the last couple of weeks, as well as all of the ones from all of the years before, have made me realize I need to think long and hard about what I should do next. Okay, thought of it. I'm ditching that loser and moving back to New York, baby. It's so good to be in NYC, the be bestest city on earth, the huge apple, the city that never sleeps with a porn star that lies to you about it. Being here makes me feel, which is something I don't normally do. Hey, New York, New York, have you missed me? Just as much as I missed you. Pretty town, home to pretty people. And also you know Here I am, it is your Melania 
I'm all yours, lovely and vicey. In New York, with all my New Yorkers, who can't wait to say? You, you suck. Wear a mask. Go. You suck. Such colorful characters with their local expressions. I'm walking here. Forget about what. There goes my driver. Nice to see you, Jeffrey. New York is too good to be true. No one puts me in a rage. Asking about kids in a cage. I don't really care about that, do you? Donald's not here, but I can spend his money. And I'm beloved when I go out. She's completely nuts. We hate her freaky guts. I'd hate to be the fun they're talking about. Okay, so she doesn't like my husband. Who does? I'm with your sister. I mean, that could be any Melania. Okay, that one actually seems kind of personal. Likes me. What is this word complicity? That riot on the mole hurt Melania most of all. No one in Earth is bullied more than me. Sometimes I dream I stayed in Slovenia. Some goats, a farm, the simple life. But now somehow I'm a first lady that must be more than me. are all closed for some reason anyway. I'm going to the Slovenian consulate. Jeffrey? Where's Jeffrey? Thank you, Madam First Lady. And on a completely unrelated note, I want to thank Laura Benanti for her service to a grateful nation. We'll be right back with Senator Cory Booker. <laughs> 